Hello and welcome to JCTV Zimbabwe, a channel of choice for all your political analysis and your sports analysis. And today I'm joined by a seasoned uh, analyst on the political arena in Zimbabwe. Uh, and um, I have learned a lot from him. Uh, Mr. Padun Gambako, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Mr. Rusiki. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, how is the family? The family is doing very well, and I hope you are doing very well too. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. So today we are looking at the issue of, um, of the soldiers, that um, a soldier has been shot uh, in the Chivu area uh, on Saturday. And then we heard that there were two um, people that were arrested. So I want to look at this issue. Uh, uh, what really happened in this whole story? I want to hear from you because I've been following the story, but probably you have much more information. What really happened? Okay, Mr. Rusike, where we are now yes. is a, a very unclear position. Mm. And my view on the situation is that there is a lot that we're not being told. Yes. The, the biggest problem we have now mm. is that we've got two dead guys. Yes. And no information. The ideal situation would have been to mm. capture the two people. Yes. And then inquire from them what was happening. And to yes. also bring clarity to the nation mm. to say who exactly are these people who did this act? What mm. was their motive? And if you read the media reports, you will notice that uh, witnesses say they were monitoring the press for, yeah. I don't know, a number of hours or a number of days. Yes. So it will, it will be very important if, you, if a proper investigation was to be carried out to establish the clear facts, the, the basic yes. facts. Yes. And I think that has not been done because now these guys are dead. We don't know what is happening. We don't know where they came from. And we don't know who else is out there. Yes. Uh, and then the, the other question that is kind of like a sticking point to many is, are these guys civilians? Because there are some reports that say that they, uh, there was the, the one of the person was um, a jealousy lover who, who was uh, approaching, uh, who was dating a constable who was there, and they came to, to they had a scuffle with the, the deceased, and that's how the uh, fight broke out, and he ended up killing. Uh, the 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 uh, lens corporal or the, uh, lens corporal who, who, was, who was shot. Uh, how true is that? Okay, I think the best thing that we have to do mm. is to always go to the official reports. Yes, because everything else is a rumor. Mm. So the first thing we have to do is to see, to look at what the report says. The yeah. report says one of the men went called the, 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 the soldier who passed away yes. outside. Yes. And they talked. And when the soldier realized that this man was not who he claimed to be, yes. he was angry and he walked back into the, into the bus. Yes. And the other man followed him shouting angrily. And then what happened is the other man came yeah. and without saying anything, yes, he shot that soldier. Yeah. And then he shot the other soldier. So to me, yes. it looks like an ambush or a distraction. They distracted the one soldier. And mm. when the other one was still trying to deal with the situation, the man that they didn't expect yes. shot the soldiers. So there was no communication between the two men. It was a pre-planned activity. Mm, mm. And the official report does not say anything about a woman mm. or the, the men talking to the woman. Why would you yeah. just shoot the men without talking to the women who were there? 
Why not shoot yes. the women if it was a, a love triangle? Yeah. And also, where is this story coming from? This story of the... So the source of this information has to be queried. Yes. Yeah, then, then, then um, there is something that I also saw uh, on the media reports that I was seeing. Uh, I think it was done by Simba Chikanzo on Zim Eye. And he was saying that there is, um, uh, there is a difference between uh, the memorandum that was sent uh, that I also saw on 263 chart and other reports. A memorandum was saying that there was a, 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 a AK-47 serial number, which is different from the one that was later released on the uh, later memorandum. Um, does as you were saying uh, earlier that we we are still getting bits and pieces of information do you think that there is something that the the government is trying to hide from us about the 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 two that have been deceased my view on this situation is that this investigation was not properly conducted so instead mm. of conducting an investigation Mm. They conducted a hand, a main hand, mm. which is not the correct way to approach this. They should have conducted an investigation. So yeah. right now, all that was saying, there could have been a number of reasons why the serial numbers were incorrect. Maybe yeah. the numbers that were in the book were wrong. Maybe the person yeah. who typed the report was incorrect. Yes. When, when we're looking at these things, we have to be factual. And yeah. establishing the, the, the chain of events yeah. is critical. If you are saying a certain gun was carried away and a certain yeah. number of magazines was carried away, a certain number of bullets yeah. and so on, those kind of things, the first step is to establish the exact facts. And I think this is where it was not properly done. If you look at the video that we're seeing of the soldier mm. being carried. Yes. You can see that civilians are carrying the soldier who passed away. Yes. And he yes, was yes. carried to the hospital by civilians. Yes. According to the information that we received. So the security forces, their intention and their focus was the main hand. Mm. It was not the investigation. You never know what could have happened so I cannot take any fact that is right now on a document and make a conclusion on it. The mistake has already been made, which is to say the, the proper investigation was not done. Yes, yes, yes. There, there is a soldier right now, as you speak, who is in hmm. intensive care. Has that soldier been spoken to? The female, uh, two female officers, have they been spoken to? If the man was shouting, what was he shouting? So these are critical questions that are not answered. So there's a there's a lot of gray areas that have not been answered on this on this matter. Correct. What, what has not been done is a proper forensic investigation. The the, yes. the scene has been tempered with the the people that are involved have not been immediately queried. They, they should have been recorded as soon as the incident happened. The witnesses yes. were not talked to. The people who were there were carrying that body. Mm. Were not talked to. The nurses yeah. were not talked to. The, um, the people who, who say they saw these people monitoring the, yes. the, the best, they've not been talked to. You see, what is happening is people just coming up with the theories. Whereas yeah. what should be happening, it's a national event, something that has yeah. gone international. We should be seeing a lot more information coming up. So yes. the information that we're getting is not from the, the official police and military sources. We're getting information from third parties, newspapers. Yes. And if it happens that you have, you've got the wrong people, Yes, the people who committed the crime are running away. They, they are still at large. Yes, yes. So then, 
Uh, the, the, uh, I, we really need to, to, to get this uh, done in, in a short space of time. I wanted us to, to look at the issue of, um, then we look at uh, the, the issue of civilians and the issue of, um, of uh, these military, military men. What, what really uh, caught my, 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 my attention was that, why is it that uh, these deceased now, they were paraded in the in the in the streets of in the in the streets of Chivu. You saw there's a picture that is also circulating on social media where you see these two. They are in a law in a in a lorry in the back of a truck, I think. And people are they are in the public gaze, even though they are criminals. Is is this justifiable to see being people being paraded like that? This is why I was saying to you the focus was a man hand. Mm. and not an investigation. So when yeah. you catch the man, you have to show mm. people that you've caught him. Yeah. Whereas the question should be, is there more yeah. to this than just a shooting? Because yes. besides getting the guns, besides killing yeah. the soldier, yeah. what else motivated this? And what is the impact of a shooting on a soldier Mm. The downstream effect will other yes. people now be copycats of this activity. So th yes. there needs to be a further and deeper investigation, and not focusing on the main hand, which is what mm. our, our our military did. They focused on catching the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it was me, I was not even going to catch them. I was going to yeah. observe them, yeah. even for a week. Yes. And see how they how, how their operations. Yes, I was not going to catch them that day. I, I would, mm. if they have drones in Zimbabwe, I would put someone close to monitor them mm. while seeing exactly where are they going to go, where do they eat, who comes to see them, mm. and if they travel twenty kilometers, yes. how did they travel those twenty kilometers? They know the area. Mm. Yes, 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 yeah. Then, then as, 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 we, as we move forward, uh, viewers and listeners, this is uh, the show that we're having me and Mr. Padun Gambakwe on the, uh, on the two uh, gentlemen that died. But we know there's a, there's a, there are two, two, two gentlemen who were pictured uh, and they say that these were the actual uh, culprits. Do you know what has happened to those two gentlemen? The, the, the question is who was producing that information? Mm. So that is where we, we, need, we always need to start. When we're doing an investigation, mm. we always have to look at the source of the information that we're getting. Yes. So if that was information coming from social media, then yes. it's not reliable. The, yes. the police did not say they, they caught them. If I'm not mistaken, yes. this was something that's a rumor. Yeah. And I do not think it holds water until mm. the police release those two yes. and say who they are. Maybe they, yeah. they there's a possibility also that these are the same guys who were shot. The, the police could have taken them out for indications mm. and shot them. Who knows? Yes, if we yes. can't find those particular two guys. Yeah. Yes. So maybe as we conclude, uh, you covered a story... Um, of uh, robberies that were happening in Zimbabwe, there were uh, there was one robbery which a, a businessman lost about hundred and something uh, thousand US dollars, and there was another robbery that happened in Bulawayo. They, and most of the these uh, the reports was that these are soldiers or ex military men who are using guns. What does it say say about the state of affairs? Uh, I mean, the, the relationship between the civilian and the soldiers in Zimbabwe? I do not think this is a, an isolated incident. Mm. I think there is a, an organized group operating in Zimbabwe because the kind of operation that they're carrying out mm. is very methodical. Yes. But the difference is that the guys who are stealing money, they don't kill anyone. 
You remember yes. I mentioned this? Yes. The guys who are, who are stealing money are professionals. They execute a mission. They go into mm. a place. They know where the money is. They collect the money and they go. These guys are military. Those guys who are stealing money, they are military. Yeah. They, are not, they are not untrained hooligans. Yes. Because if they are untrained hooligans, if you come to South Africa, people just kill people willy-nilly yes. for no reason, even after they yes. steal. But these yeah. guys know the mission. They accomplish the mission in the core. Yeah. This particular group that we had this week, the, the two guys who shot out people, in, in the soldiers in Chifo, their intention was to kill. Yes. They shot the one soldier six times. Yeah. And the one who so, passed away, they shot him three times. Mm. Their intention was not to steal. Their intention was to put fear into the hearts of the military because they okay. attacked during the day. Yes. They, they did not sneak in at night. Yeah. Yes. And when they finished their mission, they ran they away on foot. Yes. They're not yeah. escaping to go. They, yeah. they are basically on a suicide mission. Mm, 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 mm. So uh, you must distinguish between these two groups. It's not the same groups. These are two different groups. All right. All right. I understand. Then the uh, a spokesperson for MDC Alliance uh, advocate, Fad Zaymayeri, came out and she was saying that we needed to, to hear a word or this, these two individuals, they needed to, uh, y y y there is no justice. And she was also relating to the issue of what happened on August 1st in 2018. And you know that uh, the Motlante Commission uh, said that the soldiers were supposed to be uh, to be indicted, and we see that it has not yet happened from 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 the look of things. What does it say about the uh, the, the way how the brutality that is being uh, uh, put on on civilians by soldiers, and the state does not do anything? But we saw that within twenty four hours, the the people were already shot and they were already dead. They were not brought to, to, to a, a commission or be it a, uh, a place where they would be judged, but they were just shot. What does it say about uh, our, 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 uh, our government in terms of uh, the militarization and the brutalization that we see every day? Okay, so I think we need to separate issues. Mm. Security is critical. Yeah. So you need a military that is very strong. Yeah. And very methodical. You, you don't need a ragtag army mm. that does not know how to, what to do. So, for example, these guys who were shot in Chivu, mm. I think they didn't have clear orders how to engage if they yeah. get a threat. Yeah. They, they were supposed to protect the police from ordinary citizens, but I don't think yeah. they had clear orders how to act when they are threatened. So, yeah. when you send a soldier out, you, can, you must tell them that if you are threatened, or if yes, someone I'm... comes at you, yeah. what are you supposed to do? Mm, mm. So if you are not told to shoot, you can't yeah. shoot. You, you get shot yes. for nothing. Mm. So we, we need to separate the issues. What Fadzai Maher is speaking about is a political matter mm. or a process matter. Yes. But what, what this situation is right now is a... Like almost as if you are on, in the field, you are on, on the battlefield. How, okay. how do you behave? So mm. you can tell a junior soldier something which has something to do with... Um, in Iran, it was a command. There was a command yeah. to shoot. Yes. So those are two separate issues. I don't think she's putting the correct issues together. She's mixing up two issues because... Yes. A young soldier needs to be able to be protected when he's in the field. He's not the one who says, who makes the rules. Yes. He follows they the will. rules. Yeah, they act on the word of yeah. command. Yes. So th the fact that these guys were shot, mm. that I can blame it on the, the, the assailants. I blame mm. that on the seniors. They did not do a proper investigation. Mm. But mm. the fact that the, the young soldiers were shot, is because also they do not have clear orders. But it doesn't mean 
if then someone gets shot, the, the police should not hand them down and find out information. Yeah. So I, I, I get where she's coming from in terms of saying, why don't we catch these people and bring them to justice? I get that completely. But yeah. we need to separate issues. We, we can't put politics in how operational matters operate, uh, work in the army. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, then probably lastly, I saw you had an interview today with uh, the ZANPF spokesperson and we're touching on issues of the uh, the envoy that is going to uh, to meet or the delegation that has been sent by the president of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. What picture does it paint uh, for Zimbabwe if um, uh, such a scenario or such an incident has happened? Do you think it paints a good picture of, uh, of security uh, going into, into Zimbabwe uh, when such an incident has happened? Well, uh, last year, a soldier was shot in Cape Town. Hmm. He was just walking, and someone hmm. came and shot him. And I, I, I think most Zimbabweans don't understand South Africa. Hmm. South Africa is not a model yeah. for Zimbabwe yeah. in terms of violence, violent crime. Yeah. Yes. You can be you can be killed anytime for any for no reason. So yeah. Zimbabweans tend to to think if something happens, then it's, it's an international issue. It, some of these things are not international issues. We have to handle the stuff, we have to be more organized. Yes. But don't expect the South Africans to say Zimbabwe is bad because there was a shootout. If you do yeah. a proper investigation and lay out the facts, it will speak for itself. The problem is. Politicians just want to use every incident to, to, to achieve their own objectives. This has nothing to do with the, anything. The only problem I have with this situation is poor mm. investigation. Yes. Now you have more questions than answers. Yes. So yes, yes. then the questions arise. Is, this a, is someone attacking you? Is, is there a group that is unhappy about the government of Zimbabwe? So these things arise because of poor investigation, because of poor communication. So our military has got almost, they, they are not yet there in terms of communicating. So if someone is abducted and someone yeah. says, oh, military guys did it, they tend yeah. to go to the background. They don't set up a task force and communicate yes. properly. They don't, they don't defend the name of the military. Yes. This is why... Yeah. Politicians take advantage of what happens in the military. In fact, the military should be standing alone and speaking up and showing that they, they've done what is necessary to cover themselves. And at the moment, they are not doing that. They are, they are like now, the, the, the military has not even done a proper press conference. And you see a politician, General Chuenga, going mm. to visit the soldier. Yes. Why, why is General Chuenga visiting the soldier? and not the army people. Yes, 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 yes. Probably they would say that uh, because he's a, he's a former former general, maybe he might have uh, the know-how how to handle a soldier or something like that. But uh, as we close, uh, uh, maybe one point that I wanted to, to, to hear from you is that, uh, as you say that there is no proper investigation that has been done, which paints a bad picture on the military. Do you think that there is probably a group that is working behind the scenes uh, in order to to, dis, uh, to destabilize the army? Do you think there is such a group? And also probably uh, as the last last of the last point, that what does it say state about the the, the military? Uh, was this there has been a narrative that has been going out there that probably these guys that are are, are doing such a thing. Uh, or the guys who are in the military are uh, ZANU PF youths that have been deployed. They are not the real soldier. And you know, yes, last year there was an issue of Boga soldiers wearing the army uniform. What does it say about our state of the army in Zimbabwe? Okay, I want to answer. I think you've asked now about three questions. So I want to answer you the, the first question, which is to do with a group which is out there trying to stabilize the army. The, the thing I can say to you is that what this, the, these two guys did was well yeah. planned. Mm. And they chose a target that 
was difficult to to deal with. So in mm. Chivu, you know where Chivu is? Yes. Chivu is right at the center. It's far from Harare. Mm. And you know that the police don't have motor vehicles and stuff like that. So they chose this target very carefully. Mm. So that shows prior planning. They also had a strategy of how yes. to deal with the soldiers, which was yeah. to distract one soldier, shoot mm. the other soldier, yeah. and create a scene. They wanted to create a scene mm. so that everyone can see what has happened. Yeah. They also wanted to create a main hunt. And so as far as I'm concerned, there's a, a lot of planning that went through this yes. with the purpose of making an ordinary soldier feel vulnerable. So an old, yes. ordinary soldier right now, where he is, mm. if he looks left and right, all he sees is people coming after him. Yes. So they've achieved something. And if there's not one person who is behind them, then there's a group, obviously. And now you never know because of poor investigation. You never know yes. whether it's a group or not. Mm -hmm. Then they had weapons, a loaded gun yes. with at least nine bullets. Yeah. That means these guys, have, they're armed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that there's a group. And so they are not like group, mushrooms. No, they're not, they not mushrooms. Yeah. And... The, the, the other thing is, if, if you look at um, how far they managed to run, mm. 20 kilometers, if this is the very same group, mm. and a whole night, yes, it, it means there's some sort of order in, in, um, in what they were doing. And there could possibly be a, a group behind this whole thing. I, I think, let's clarify the second question that you asked. Okay. The yes. other question that I asked was that, uh, what does it say about uh, our military? Do you think that um, uh, that narrative that has been going around that these people that are in the military, they are not well trained or they are just uh, Zanpia youths that have been taken from the streets or from the provinces and they've just been given uniform and they are there out there. What does this say about the competence of the army of, of the, uh, I mean, from the from the grassroots level? Okay, one of the young soldiers, the one who died, yeah. is 30 years old. Yes. And I've got some background information on him, which I'm just verifying. But I know for a fact that at 30 years, you are not a Zanpia view. You will yeah. probably be in the army for a while. Yes. The other guy, there was no edge. Yes. On his, um, if, if you look, there was no edge, but he's alive. So obviously, you can always check how old he is. But mm. let's say both of these guys were 30 years old. And they're coming from a base, I think it's called Darwin, if I'm not mistaken, mm. which means they were deployed all the way from Harare. So mm. I don't know if we can call them Mashurugui. It's, it's just an unfortunate situation that the, the proper investigation was not done. The facts yes. should be openly available because this thing happened in public. Yes. So if, if it had happened in private and they were shot at a best, then we could yeah. understand. But because it happened in public, in full, in full view of everyone, the yes. army should also provide information. Then the answers that you're asking about whether they are Mashurugui or Zanpia youths, or whether they are properly trained, then they won't arise. But yes. what is clear is that they don't have clear orders mm, mm, on what mm. to do. Mm. So if one soldier is being shot three yeah. times, yeah. and the police are going under a bench to hide, yes. I, I think you, yeah. you saw that uh, the two women went under the bench. Mm. So, so, so it means that there is no clear uh, command that one when you are faced with such a situation, or they didn't anticipate such a situation, probably. Yes, but what is the purpose of putting a soldier on the street? That is mm. exactly to prevent a situation like this. Mm. 
Mm. And if you, if, you th- if someone is shouting at a soldier, does the soldier mm. walk away? Mm, 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 mm. I, I don't think that's yes. how you're supposed to to behave. If you're a soldier, if someone starts shouting at your at one of the soldiers, the other one should immediately uh, take the position. Uh, that's why you're two. Yes. yes. That is Mr. Padun Gambakwe. Thank you so much. It gets interesting when uh, our time is not no longer on our side. But uh, thank you so much for 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 gracing us with your uh, with your presence here on uh, on JCTV Zimbabwe. Uh, how can people get in touch with you uh, 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 on your platforms? Right, Gambakwe.com. That's our website, and Gambakwe yes. Media is our YouTube yes. and our Facebook. So if, if you just look for all those platforms. That's where you can find us. And we'll probably be handling this topic for the next week. There's so much here that we need to to handle so that we understand what really happened. All right, all right, all right. That is Gambakwe Media. You go there online, gambakwe.com. You will be able to uh, view. There are a lot of news that you find on gambakwe.com. And also on Facebook, it's Gambakwe Media. So, say thank you so much for, for being on the show, and we really appreciate Hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, sir. All right. That was Mr. Padun Gambakwe there uh, on uh, uh, talking to us about the issue of the two soldiers that were uh, uh, gunned by unknown assailants that we know at this point in time that they were shot and killed yesterday. And uh, this is the story that we, there are so many questions that have been not been answered. And we're pointing out that, do we know that these guys, were they civilians or they are ex-military or they were in the army? What has happened? Those are some unanswered questions that we need to look at on this, uh, on this story uh, that we are talking about today. But uh, that has been the show today. I hope to see you again next time please visit our website, jctvzimbabwe.co.za and also go to JCTV Zimbabwe on Facebook. On Twitter, it's the same. On Instagram, it's the same. Go out there and check our blogs and our analysis. And you can also check our videos that we've done in the past on this channel, JCTV Zimbabwe YouTube. But this has been your boy, uh, JC, reminding you that rise up Africa. The world is waiting for you. I'll see you again next time when you touch on other interesting topics.